seaport container terminals are facing several operational difficulties to manage increasing throughputs. Therefore, container terminals tend to integrate new technologies and scientific techniques rather than increasing the existing capacities. Thus, this research focuses on rule-based dynamic container stacking to optimize yard operations at port terminals. Hello everyone, I am Janit Gunawardhan. My research supervisor is Dr. Niles Perela. Let's discuss about our study. Introduction. Container stacking problem is the academic term for yard planning. According to literature, there are two types of container stacking problem. Static container stacking problem and dynamic container stacking problem. In static container stacking problem, the robust yard locations are determined by predicting the future condition of the yard prior to the container arrival in the information receiving state. But in dynamic container stacking, the yard locations are determined at the point of container arrival considering the real-time condition of the yard. Let's say T2. There is a time gap between T1 and T2. For our study, we focused on dynamic container stacking. Since it can accommodate higher degree of uncertainty, also less changes in execution of the operation. Literature review, research gap, research question and research objectives. In our study, we have done the literature review under several categories, starting from port operation and containerization, seaport container terminals, static container stacking problem, and dynamic container stacking problem. After analyzing existing literature regarding container stacking problem, as the Dr. Rekik revealed, we also identified that the dynamic container stacking problem is not that much treated in existing literature. Further, we reveal that the dynamic container stacking models or the dynamic container stacking solutions that were introduced in existing literature are unable to cater multiple container categories, multiple uncertain events, and multiple real-time events in a single model. Therefore, we identified this as the research gap and we developed our research questions. How the real-time yard planning decisions affecting determining exact yard locations for incoming containers in container terminals. To address our research question, we have came up with three research objectives. First one, establish a real-time yard planning model or dynamic container stacking model to deal with higher degree of uncertainty in container terminals. Second one, reduce the container handling cost by minimizing yard train traveling distance, horizontal transport vehicle traveling distances, and optimizing workload distribution of yard blocks. Third one, Analyze the performance of dynamic container stacking and static container stacking to identify the best approach to determine exact yard locations. Research methodology. When we refer in the existing literature, we have identified that there were three main solution approaches were used to develop dynamic container stacking models. First one, optimization approach with heuristic algorithms. Second one, optimization approach with exact algorithms. Third one, artificial intelligence approach. However, as the literature emphasized, each type of models has their own pros and cons. After critically evaluating the existing solution approaches for our study, we used mix of optimization and artificial intelligence approach to develop the dynamic container stacking model. Therefore, we used rule-based systems to develop dynamic container stacking model in our study. A rule-based system is the simplest form of artificial intelligence. It is based on expert knowledge of the specific problem area. A rule-based system contains if-then rules which explain the expert knowledge. A rule-based system contains three types of elements. When it comes to framework of a rule-based system, it includes a database which contains set of facts, a knowledge base which contains set of rules, and termination criteria for each if-then rule to stop creating infinite loops, inference engine which link the database and knowledge base, and also explanation facility and user interface. Data collection. We did our data collection in two steps. The step one data collection was done with the intention of developing a dynamic container stacking model 
while gathering the knowledge or the background knowledge about real-time yard plant. So we did observations at Port of Colombo and we did expert interviews with industry experts from Club Industrial Container Terminals, Red Sea Gateway Terminal and DP World Terminals from Port of Jeddah and we did the literature review as well. So this is the summary of the collected data. So we identified independent factors, uh, dependent factors for yard planning and we identified the stacking rules and the strategies of yard planning. Also we identified the several uncertain events and disturbances event in a terminal. The step 2 data collection was done with the intention of validate the developed model. So the data was acquired by a two days field survey at Columbia International Container Terminals. So we gathered the starting data of transshipment and ITD delivery containers. Rule based dynamic container stacking model formulation. Our model contains three steps. Step 1 is verification of containers. Step 2 selection of feasible yard base. Step 3 selection of the optimal yard bay from the feasible yard bays. Let's move further about three steps. Step 1. When it comes to knowledge base, it contains if then rules for each and every container groups. In here, you can see that an example if then rule for 20 transshipment groups. In here, what we are doing is check the suitability of containers to provide yard locations by the developed model. In here, you can see that the inference chain of the step 1. The knowledge base of the step 2 is a collection of this kind of if then rules with respect to 20 foot yard base, 40 foot yard base and 45 foot yard base. In here you can see that the inference chain of the step that means the way of how the feasible yard base are selected. To select the optimal yard base in step 3, we develop four types of performance indicators. These four performance indicators were developed considering the operation of each container category and to calculate the total container handling cost from birth to yard. The yard bay which has the least container handling cost is assigned as the optimal yard bay to stack containers. This is an example if then rule of transshipment category like this. Other container categories also contain with this kind of if then rules in step 3 knowledge base. When it comes to model implementation, we develop our model in Microsoft Excel framework. So this is our framework and every box demarcate a separate sheet and every arrow demarcate the connectivity among the sheets. When it comes to experimentation, we did AT simulation trials by providing the yard conditions manually to the model and we determine the yard locations from the dynamic container stacking model and calculate the performance indicator values for dynamic container stacking as well as the performance indicator values for the yard locations which were given by the yard planners. When it comes to test results and analysis, to compare the performance of dynamic container stacking and static container stacking, we use the performance deviation calculation. The results which provide positive value means the dynamic container stacking model performed well. Minus means static container stacking model performed well. And zero means the same performance from dynamic container stacking and static container stacking. The test results were calculated under four container categories. In here, we will explain you about 20 transit. As the table shows, for each trial, we calculated PI value for the locations which were determined by the art planners and the locations which were determined by the developed dynamic container stacking model. Both PI values are calculated and the PD value also calculated. The results reveal that 5.38% cost can be reduced per 20 transshipment container from the developed model. Likewise, this much of cost reduction can be gained from the model per container by using the developed dynamic container stacking model. Further, we predicted the cost saving that can be gained for a container terminal per shift, per day, per month and per year. Conclusions In our study, we were explored six findings. First one, the developed rule-based dynamic container stacking model is possible when the yard utilization is 80% or below. That means objective one is achieved. 
Second one, container handling cost was reduced significantly while considering the higher degree of uncertainty. That means objective 2 is achieved. Third one, the dynamic container stacking approach was identified as the best approach comparing to static container stacking approach. Fourth one, the higher cost reduction percentage is gained by 20 footer containers. Fifth one, the dynamic container stacking ensures the yard segregation policies comparing to static container stacking. The final one, the develop model is applicable for transshipment oriented terminals. The COVID-19 pandemic was an extreme challenge for us to conduct this research due to the port access restrictions. References This research study has already published in Maritime Transport Research Journal, Volume 2, 2021. This is the end of this presentation. Thank you for listening.